Well, thank you very much, Lee, and hopefully we'll get, uh, you know, some authorities. I know the mayor of the area is still here with us this morning. Maybe he'll, you know, get to respond to those tweets. We were looking at them and will most definitely bring the issues to the forefront so that he gets to, to respond to them directly. Well, now, in recognition of a growing need for skills to match the rapid uh, development in this area, the Greater Tubaza local municipality has been given the status of special economic zone. So to talk to us about what it means what it entails, especially in terms of the development of this area. We joined this morning by the Managing Director of the Limpopo Economic Development Agency, Ndate Ben Mpatlele. Ndate Mpatlele, good morning to you and welcome morning. to Morning Live. Good morning. Well, thank you very much indeed. But just before we talk more about um, the status of the municipality being the Special Economic Zone, talk to us about the agency first. What is the responsibility of the Limpopo Economic Development Agency? Limpopo Economic Development Agency is, uh, is an agency of the provincial government that is implementing the, the economic plan of the, of the, of, of the government. Okay, mm. so that's what it does. You come yeah. up with strategies. Yeah, now, the, the strategy it, is there in the, uh, the Limpopo Development Plan. And ours is to implement it, yes. All right. Now back to the area being given the status of special economic zone. What exactly is a special economic zone? There, there is an intention. It's not yet declared a special economic zone. We are the applicant mm -hmm. on behalf of the provincial government of the special economic zone. Mm -hmm. of, and this will, of this will make Greater Tubaz the second municipality to have such a status here in the province? Yeah, when, when successful, yes. When successful. Yes. But how far is the process then? The process is we, we, have, we have lined up a lot of the groundwork. We have talked to the business. We have, we have talked to investors. We... We, 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 we are acquiring property that is actually going to make it possible and is supported by the mining sector and um, uh, it's all systems go. Is that? Mm. But how, how long does it usually take for the whole process to be completed? It, it takes quite a while because uh, obviously um, uh, once you have lost your application it gets considered and after consideration then if, if positive then you have to do a public participation and after that mm then uh, the minister will then be able to submit recommendations to, 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 to cabinet and then you get a license thereafter. All right. So you were uh, still telling us about the special economic zone as to what it entails. Mm. We can go on on that. that. That special economic zone, you see the growth of the mining sector in, in this part of the world and, and I think it's, it's the largest growth so far. Uh, 17, mine, 17 mines in, in, in this short space of time is quite a, a sizable number of mines. That creates opportunities for the, 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 the manufacturing sector, you know, because there, there's a demand for the mining input uh, supply and they need to be specialized, to, to be manufactured here mm -hmm. in the Tubazi area. Okay. Right. It also creates opportunities for, for the manufacturing um, uh, 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 of the beneficiation of the of the mining outputs, so so so, and 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 mining itself is not really a large, uh, job creator in terms of one rent per job, but now the manufacturing sector will then increase the employment here. We we talk to various we are talking to the university to set up the school of mining, in this particular area so that we can affirm the youth, in terms of preparing them to be employment within the sector and contribute to the necessary innovation mm. and so on and so forth. Okay, so basically in Tulebuangaonagore, if platinum is being mined here, it should not go outside. It should be processed here and the final product should come from the very same area. In the long term, yes, mm. that is where we're acting. But in the very, very short term, we need those manufacturers of the inputs. For, for a platinum mine to, 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 to mine, mm. it requires things like conveyor belts, underground transport and all this. They need to be manufactured. That's, that's the the low-hanging fruit that we need to be able to plug as of now. Mm -hmm. and, and as we develop, then we begin to look into the, 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 the downstream activities. Okay, so it's not something that's just going to happen overnight. It's, it's a long-term process. The, but the, that the, will be beneficial to the community, I believe. Yeah, the, 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 the beneficiation side is, is, is medium to long. Mm -hmm. The short term is the, the manufacturing of the mining input supplies. We acquire the property and uh, the, 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 the firms are already built. All we need is for people to be able to come through and the special economic zone to be declared. All right. Now, talk to us about the skills that the people around here have, um, especially for the economic development of the area. You see, the way the, way the province grows, we, 
we 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 want to we 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 make it possible that what happens in any district there should be special skills that are applicable there and in this part of the world we we need that is why we're talking to 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 the university to say the mining the mining the academy of mining um, must be in Dubai because that is where the manufacturing of the mining inputs and 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 the um the engineering, uh, the mining engineering, will be taking place. We, we is, is is much more demanded in this part of the world, okay. and 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 that is the the line the line of of activity that we are flowing. All right, uh, that in that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Raleigh uh, There you have it, Dr. Ben Impasele. He's the Managing Director of the Limpopo Economic Development Agency, talking to us about the economic development Thanks. of this area on its own. Well, there is still a lot more to come from Stop. Don't go away, but you can participate or join in the conversation by going on Twitter, Morning Live. It's at Morning Live SABC, hashtag Beggarsport.